Hey guys, it's Feta Bobo here, and we're going to check out this weird Laputa-ish building. I'll explain how you can do this in a little bit, and I'll also explain how or why I have such large platforms. But let's check it out first. It's quite high up, and I definitely wanted it to be high up to have a really nice view when you get up there. The stairs are floating. They don't have to connect to the platform down below, but uh, I don't like ropes, so I made them connect just so I could get up there easily. You can kind of see how uh, how it was built. Like I said, not to worry, I'll, I'll show you later. At least until the devs fix it, which they may. Maybe, maybe they can leave it out for a patch or something so people can play with it. <laughs> All right, now we're inside. We're gonna go right first, up the tower. Some of the stuff that I've done required a little bit of crouching to get through. Initially, this was gonna work for um, co-op, and technically it does mostly. Uh, the issue is, is this only works on single player, like if you load and save it'll look exactly like I have here, at least until the devs change it, but um, in co-op it won't look the same for the client, so I moved it to single player later. We're at the top, and it's got a really good view, you're, <laughs> you're crazy high. I'm a big fan of that fog effect. It looks really nice. I mean, um, some people don't like it on all the time, which which is fine. You know, like weather variations are really cool, but it, it makes a good scene occasionally. You're so high up that this is as high as the birds go too. <laughs> it's a very pretty looking game. I actually had to turn down my draw distance for this because uh, <laughs> the platforms had actually caused a lot of lag for my computer. and I've got a pretty good computer. Now we're inside the main house. This is actually the entrance right here. I tried to add a lot of uh, verticality, even in the base itself, just because I wanted it to have that kind of like high feeling. And I was playing with some patterns in the floor because I just wanted something extra in the rooms. Here's where you'd put your weapons. Uh, wash your hands off after a dirty day. Head into the dining room. You got a table. Um, not sure if you'd have very many friends with a kind of building like this, but uh, <laughs> there's a lot of room for your guests. Since I assume you'll be eating alone, we have some little guys to watch over you. Another station to wash your hands, and we'll go into the little kitchen. You could accelerate your drying right there. Got a little garden for some herbs. Wood to keep your fire going. I don't know why he's there, I just, you know. <laughs> some shelves to store stuff. Another fire if you need to cook something else. And of course, wood and water nearby. Now when we go into the hallway, we can actually go down to the tower. But I'm actually going to go back out through the dining room. And you can see there's the patterns on the floor again. I made them on accident once, but I, I liked them so I, I exaggerated it a lot later. So high up, I figured he, he might be a gardener, so we have a lot of gardens. And uh, I got the idea of calling it a Mad Hatter Laputa when uh, I started playing with rocks against the tower. I thought it added a little bit of a extra element to the tower, just instead of being a large wooden structure. And 
you get pretty great views. To create floating stuff, you don't actually need mod API. Um, again, this may be fixed by the time you watch it, depending on how quick the, the devs go after it. It's kind of difficult to do, so I don't really see them needing to fix it this second, but you know, it is probably considered a glitch and will likely be fixed at some point. This is the archery range. Uh, forgive my pop in there, but like I said, I did actually have to lower some settings to keep a decent frame. It's kind of fun, but I figured out that I actually really suck with a bow. So, <laughs> it was a little sad at the same time. Of course I've made steps so you can go up and get your arrows. We're gonna have a lot of fun with that little plank on the right. We're gonna launch a boat off of it. But heading back, and again, like I said, I created these pathways in this height because I wanted to really emphasize the kind of vertical feeling of the area without it being like 20 stories of buildings. Mansions are cool, but um, I don't know. You see a bit of mansions already. That was clearly a supply room. Heading through these pathways. On our left would be the entrance to the building we already went through. We'll go left, don't worry. Now up here is just kind of more of a, a deck to, to look out. Because everywhere I looked, I, I, you know, I, I really like the way the forest looks, especially high up here. It's this really majestic view, so that's why I really wanted to emphasize with these corners here. And that log shade is just kind of like my emergency save point that I used so much I felt like I had to stay in the game. <laughs> A uh, nice supply room if you wanted to add anything yourself, because I will share the save. But, um... I had something else in here, but it actually caused me to drop another 10 frames, so I had to remove it. More gardens. Now you're probably wondering, I've shown a lot of this already, so where is the bedroom? Now, because this guy's a little weird, you know, like somebody made this inside the forest with a bunch of cannibals nearby, invested a lot in their real estate, so we have to have a weird area for a bedroom. You got that nice tower over there. Another area just to enjoy the really pretty game. And now we go into the bedroom. I liked how breathing this area felt, and so I kept the bed really simple. It's just, it's a bed, kind of set up as a throne. Um, and and I, I like it this way. It feels really spacious and airy and emphasizes the kind of unique roofing that's going on here. All right, let's go to the guide now. If it's already been patched, I'll add an annotation, maybe a comment in the video so you can skip to the funny boat scene uh, as we fly it off of the building. But starting out with the platform, if you want it to be higher, you can build a custom platform down below and then build this platform on top of that. And the only one you'll be able to remove is the platform that begins the, the floating section. If you remove the custom platform down below, it'll actually knock the whole thing down, which is why I didn't remove it on my building. So what you notice here is when you place the stairs, if they're not on an object, they're gonna have a pole that reaches down to the ground if they're too close to the platform, they can have a pole that reaches to the ground. So you build it slightly above, just enough. So now it's connecting into the platform and you can build it out. And if you don't continue it, it'll just hang out there like that. 
Now if you destroy the platform right now, it'll float until you save and load, and then it's going to grow its uh, pull down to the ground. So we don't want that. So doing the same kind of trick, except on the stairs, and you build so it goes under the platform, and it goes under where the pull would appear on the first set of stairs. Now you can remove or destroy with an axe if you don't using mod API. Remove the platform. If you save and load, that, that's still going to appear later, so you don't want that. But if you build a platform underneath the pole that will appear, now it's going to go into that platform. And it'll be self-contained. Now, keep in mind, the platforms, custom platforms, all that stuff, when you place them on the stairs, they will only be held up by the stairs on areas they exist. So if you notice with my building, I've built actually a circle of stairs with a section of floating platforms. Um, so I could create that circle kind of effect. Now, now let's have fun. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm not jumping at all. It's just knocking me all over the place. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, <laughs> right, well, thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, let me know if you want to see some more bases. I will try to, to keep everything fresh and unique. And uh, I'll check you out to the next one. Take care, everyone.